Hi, Teresa here from Tech Bank Social, and I am joined today by my friend Marie. And Marie and I are just sitting here having a discussion about intuitive, and because Marie is an intuitive person. Marie, can you tell us what intuitive means for people that are not familiar with that term? Intuitive is just being connected, okay. connected to yourself, right. and connected to all that is uh, visible and invisible. Oh, okay. That's, right. that's a, simple, a simple way of saying it. Exactly. So that, that's a good explanation. I couldn't have done it better myself. Thank <laughs> you for that. So now, Marie, we were talking earlier about the diff, uh, different uh, disciplines that you do. Now, people may be familiar with Reiki, EFT, and all these other modalities. Mm -hmm. So can you explain a little bit about each? Because you do them all. Yes. Just about, yes. yeah. So you do EFT, which is? Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, emotional freedom technique is like acupuncture for emotions. It's again a way to release um, emotions, right? And, and it's very, very quickly. Yes, and it's very simple too. It's, it's just basically simple. tapping on meridian points on different meridian yes, points. Yes, that's right. While saying your truth, and at, that's right. when you say your truth and you tap on the meridians, uh, the a negative emotional charge to an event or to something you're carrying. Yes has no choice but to, to let go when you're speaking your truth. Exactly. And you can do that anywhere. You can sit at anywhere. home in the office, on the bus. In the car. You may look a little funny, but hey, it works. It's <laughs> what I, I've done it quite a bit myself. Yes. And what else do you do? I also um, do Lester Levis, Levis, Levinson, sorry, his approach. Uh, no, I'm sorry, what was Lester that? Levinson's approach. I don't know if you've heard of that. Sedona Method. Yes. But yes. Lester Levinson uh, originated all that. And he believed that being in love, yes, in the state of love, without judgment of right. anything, um, you can let go of a lot of different things. Exactly. Not to carry and not to um, to let other people be who they truly be without the judgment. And it again, it just releases like a huge load off the shoulders as we do that technique as well. Oh, and this yeah. day and age, there's a lot of heavy <laughs> shoulders, I'm afraid. Absolutely. A lot of stuff going on these days. And what else do you do? Because I know. I also do, um, I also do Reiki, and I still right. teach Reiki as well. Uh, very sacred as well. Um, but I do the bars. Yes, that's the interesting to me. Yeah. Because my husband, Gary, went, has uh, had a session with you, and it certainly has made a difference in him. Mm -hmm. So can you explain to us what bars is? The bars is... Um, a hands-on approach where um, you touch 32 points on the head uh, of somebody's head while the person's lying down and it lets go of all, I could say of all the crap in, in your life. You it's can like say crap. Crap is a good the, word. It's like crap pressing word. the delete button on the, the, the garbage, little garbage on your computer. And that's what it does. It lets go of so many patterns, so many things that we're carrying, that we're holding on to for dear life but that we don't need anymore. And the bars, what it does as well is to open to receive. Okay. Because in this lifetime or in this world, we're not open to receive as much. We give, 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 run, run, run. But to take time to receive as well and to open ourselves to receive in our lives. Exactly. Is very so, important. so when somebody comes to see you, and for example, you do the bars, you use that technique on yes. them. What is it that they're going to feel? Like, do they feel anything? Is there like a, a pressure? Like, or is everybody different? Everybody's different, but what I've gotten from everybody that's gotten up from the table from a bar session is um, a feeling of expansion, ah. that there's space for them to be. They right. don't feel crunched in their lives anymore, and they feel as if they've had an hour massage or a good night's sleep. That's, right. what, that's how they feel when they get up from the table. Yeah, that's what Gary, my husband, mm -hmm. said after you had done the session. He felt like his whole body had a massage. Yeah. Now, what... Who would come to see you? Is it uh, somebody that's overwhelmed with life or they're just not feeling good? Like, is, is there a certain type of symptoms that they would have before they come to see you? Or do they just want to recharge their bodies? Like, why would somebody come to see you? Like, what would they be going through? I've had people come and see me with um, uh, OCD. Okay. And, like, really, uh, th their life was getting smaller and smaller. Well, like, yes, yes. You, you get to... Takes control of you, yes, yes. absolutely. So, and after just one session, um, this little guy, 12 years old, started to eliminate all these. And very, every night he'd go to bed and he'd say, tomorrow I won't be checking all the doors, Mom. 
and he wow. wouldn't. So now he's just free of the OCD, and he's just free to be himself and have the confidence and move out or move up in the in his world in his wow. life. Wow. Um, another I've had I work with um, adults and with children as well, and I've had uh, many kids that have come to see me, teenagers, uh, okay. with uh, that have been bullied or that have moved from out of town and cannot find integration in their exactly in their, in their uh, school and being laughed at and all that. And with just a few sessions with me, um, I've used EFT, I've used different techniques, and they can just be themselves and be accepted for who they are and feel that it's their school now, their place So once be. that happens, once they have that shift and they accept who they are, then other people will accept them the way they are. It's all, it always starts exactly, with ourselves. Exactly, exactly, because they're portraying that. So that's one. So you do children also. I also do children. Okay, and how young is your your youngest? Uh, uh, about they eight, nine. Okay. Are about you? that, but okay. they the kids they don't hold on to things. No, they no. want to let go. They don't want to carry the That's generations right. before and all that other people That's are right. telling them to carry. Yes. They want to live their truth and they want to be who they, all that they can be. Exactly. So it's amazing working with them because the shift is so quick. Wow. Yeah, it's exactly. beautiful. It's beautiful. So now. A person could also go see you. They know there's something, there's something missing. They just don't know what it is, and they're mm -hmm. going, okay, there's something going on, but I don't know what it is. So let's go see Marie and see if she can do that shift. She can open that up for me. Yeah, right. And we'll just start. Um, they usually come in by saying something. Yes. Okay. So we'll start with that, whether it's with the AFD, with any other techniques that I have. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll just. It's like an art. <laughs> okay, yes. Exactly. Well, we'll just swim and go in, with the flow. Yeah, see what in happens. Their lives, yeah, and exactly. see uh, what they need to express or what they need to release. Uh, there's one lady that came to see me a few years ago, and she was going to stop singing in church oh. because um, she had a beautiful voice. She was great singing with the choir, but when it came to sing by herself, oh. she just had the palms oh. would be sweaty, well, the yes. heart would. And the voice would start squeak, uh, squeaking. Yes, that's right, yes. And she did a session with me. And by the end of that session, she had released where all that had come from. Wow. And she could go, and now she does public speaking. She does sing wow. at, she sings at church. That's what was bringing her joy. So she can do all these things, and she can be. That's right. And, and that was only is, after one session. That was one session yeah. with her. Wow. Now, how long... I guess it depends on the person's uh, symptoms or what they're trying to clear. How many sessions would somebody have to go to? It's never the same. Okay. And it's not because we're, we tend to think that it's because we've had something for so many years right. that it's going to take time to clear. Like, yes, yeah, that's right. It's yeah. take a lot of time because, boy, I've had this for a long time. Yeah, probably but it's not maybe. always the case. No way. Eh? It can be just like that. Wow. It's not magic. And but it, it's um, it's tapping into themselves and being able to see or to connect with what's blocking them and letting it go. Yeah. And sometimes not even knowing where it originates from. I was just going to say that maybe they don't even know what it is that they release because it could have been when you were a baby and some, or, you heard something and something. Or in uterus yeah. or it could That's be anyway. Right. Exactly. But we do, or a past life. Past life. We Absolutely. do not need to always know. And right. what I find interesting is that um, there's a lot of things that we know. Because we're thinking humans. So we have this mind here, and we can analyze for many years or know where things come from. Right. But the body's still stuck with it. Exactly. So my specialty is to help release from the body. Excellent. All, all and, and can you tell me why, how you got into this, like, and why? Maybe the book the same answer. I don't know. How and why? I started, um, I did, I became an orthotherapist, a massage. Okay. Uh, I don't know how many years ago, uh, maybe 20 years ago. And uh, so I was taking care of the body. Okay, yes. People would come fix this, come fix that. And, right. And at one point, I started for myself to connect with my body's aching here, or the, it's telling me something. Mm -hmm. And when I started learning, and the EFT came into my life at a very good time. Yes. And I started letting go of so much stuff, <laughs> allergies, a lot of different things That's that right. I was carrying. And... I started working with clients when they'd come in, can we do some, a neat bit of EFT for yes, five minutes? Right. Yeah. And they said, okay. And by the three to ten minutes, 
what they were carrying emotionally or physically in pain was yes. gone. So I finished with the relaxation massage. Wow. So for me, at one point, I just knew that I needed to go in the, into that direction fully. A little deeper, yes. Yeah, go into the emotional step. side of it. And I love it. Because I'm sure you, well, like you say with that young, the 12-year-old boy, you see such a great result. And it's just like that. Yeah, and so it's, it's, a, it's an honor. It's a privilege to be able to. Design. So it's as easy as just laying there and letting you do your your work on them. Yes. And it, it just it just releases. Just allowing. Exactly. Now, I know uh, you have an office out in Orleans, but I believe you have a couple of other places you go also. Mm -hmm. and where Can you tell us where they are? Yes. On Wednesdays, I'm in at the Via Vispa in Rockland on uh, Laurier Street. Right. Um, and on Friday, part of the day, I'm in Embram at Lady Angelistics. That's great. So those people out there, if they want to get a hold of you, they can just... Absolutely. Answer. And I'll, and I'm sure you can tell she's French, so you, you have no problem doing it in French. But <laughs> <laughs> So it, there we go. My, uh, there she just my first proved. language, so yes. <laughs> is there anything else you want to say before we... Uh, just... You want to share? Just to embrace life and embrace all that yeah. you are as a human being. And it, it changes your life. It opens up doors. And it, it just takes you out of funk. That, <laughs> and that's a good one, yeah, yes. It takes funk. you out of funk. And start living in, with, with a new vision that's and right. a new awareness of life as well. Like, so basically what you're doing, you're giving people hope. Absolutely. You're opening up their eyes and their body and hope. Yes. There's a bright light out there and let's enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's pretty powerful stuff. And it doesn't have to hurt to get there. Exactly. It's as <laughs> simple as just laying there and just... Can you fall asleep? Can you do it while oh, people fall asleep? Many people <laughs> snore. But that's okay. I let them snore. I let the animals go, hi. <laughs> wakey, wakey. <laughs> but uh, whether you're sleeping and whether you're, you're awake and aware of what's happening, that's right. it's still releasing. It's still exactly. Happening. Now you also, before we end, uh, you also teach. Yes. Can you tell us all the different modalities that you teach? Yeah, I teach, um, I teach Reiki. I teach um, all the three levels because I'm a Reiki master. I do as well uh, teach uh, EFT workshops right. where in a group you can experience work, uh, EFT. Right. So it, it's a lot of fun to experience in a group because you get to see all the different ways it works. Okay. Um, I do teach bar sessions as well. Okay. Bar classes. All right. And, uh, and that is... Again, opening, accessing a different awareness. That's right. Different conscience. And how long would, for the BARS uh, course, how long would that take? That would be a, one day. From oh, nine, just one from day? From 9 to 5. Oh, I thought it would be like a few weeks or something. No, no. no. In one day you can, and, and in the class you get to receive and gift BARS ah, twice. So you okay. really get to experience receiving it right. and giving it as well. Now, do you need to have any sort of prerequisite before you take... The EFT or the Reiki or the bars. Do you have to have any? No, it's just pre. I, I ask people at the beginning of classes. So, what brings you here today? And sometimes people say, "I just saw it and I knew I had to be there." Oh, Some people have thought about it for years. It's it just people know. Okay. They they, they come to know and yes. trust their intuition, their gut feeling. Exactly, and sometimes. It, you just know now's the time to do it. Absolutely. You've been thinking about it, but now the universe is saying, okay, let's do it. Absolutely. And what I do as well, like I do teach out of Orleans and the other places, but if you do have a group that you, of people that you have together, yes. I can go and teach at your place as well. Oh, okay. And how many well. would you need in a group? I need at least four to have okay, well, that's to go yeah. somewhere, depending on the classes. Exactly. But, no, around that would be uh, uh -huh. five, four to, four to six. Yes, and then, okay, that's yeah. enough. You wouldn't want any more than six, I guess, would you? Um, it's still, okay. it's still good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, Marie. <laughs> yeah. just, just depends. Well, Marie, I want to thank you so much for coming in and sharing all this information with us. Oh, and uh, we're going to have you up on our Tech Bag Social on a feature page in your video. And if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, how would they get a hold of you? They can call me at 613-830-3638. Or through marie.mignot at gmail.com. And I do have the website, which is www.centre, with hyphens in between, lumière which means light within. Wonderful. And life within. We all have the light within. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank you, Marie. It was a pleasure talking to you. You're welcome. <laughs>